Jen here from Spectrum Noir, and today I'm going to show you how to color this adorable image. This image is from Crafter's Companion, and it is one of the party paws, and the name of the image is Bamboo. It's an easy mount stamp set, and it looks like this when you mount it up. Um, we're also going to use Spectrum Noir marker pens, and they are going to be in the colors of the tans, the TNs, and the GBs, which are the golden browns. And that's our main colors that we're going to work with today. We are also using Memento ink. First off, we're going to start with our TNs, which are our tans. I'm using TN2, TN3, and TN4. And we're going to focus in on this cute little bamboo's head. And I'm starting with TN2, and I'm just going to go and fill in the entire area of the little bear's head and color it all in. Now I'm going to come in using the TN3 and start doing some of the shading on the bear's face. And I am just going uh, back and forth with the TN3 and shading where the shadow lies underneath the sunflower. Um, and how the bear is tilted a little bit to the side, my point of light is coming in kind of to my right, um, and you're right on the video. Um, and then I'm going to go back over with the TN2, and I'm just going to use the two colors going back and forth shading. I'm coming back in with the TN2 and filling in the body, feet and all and coming back with TN3 and doing the same, following my um, point of light and shading underneath the bear's chin and the side of his little belly um, underneath the bear's arm. And I'm coming back in with the TN2 and blending in the TN3. And I just go back and forth using both markers um, until I get the correct shading that I like. Um, my darker shading is using TN4, and I bring that in and just do some of the darker shadows around in the areas that need the shadows underneath the belly, in the crease of the foot, in the crease of the toes, um, directly underneath the sunflower has the TN4. And I blend the TN4 with the TN3, and then I come back in with TN2 and blend all of it together. Be careful with your TN2, it will fade out your darker shadowing. Um, with your TN3 and your TN4. Okay, now we're going to finish up with this little bamboo's ear. Do a little bit more shading with the two. And we're going to come in with the TN2 again and fill in the entire ear. We're going to shade with the TN3 and the TN4 until we get the look that we want and come back in and blend with the TN2. Now we're going to come in with golden browns to do the sunflower. We're using golden brown 1, 3, and 4. And I start out with golden brown 1. I'm going to fill in the entire area of just the petals. I'm not going to fill in the center yet. And make sure it's solid with the GB1. Now I'm going to come back with GB4 and add some highlights around the center of the sunflower. And I'm just poking them in there, not too big, but enough so that I can get a little bit of a shadow. Um, let's go in closer here so you can see where that GB4 is at. And we're going to shade some of the leaves and make solid some of those background leaves. Some of them are solid and some of them are just partially shaded. The goal is to make this sunflower pop, so your dark highlights need to be on the under side of the flower's petals um, and on directly in the center. The center is also using the TN7, which is a tan 7. It's fairly dark um, and it makes the sunflower dark in the center as you can see. Now we're going to color the butterfly with CG1 and CG3 using the CG3 as your dark highlight. Um, you don't need much blending here because it's such a small butterfly on the bear's hand. Also using that CG3 for the stem of our sunflower. Here is our finished colored image. 
Here is what our image looks like once you place it on a card front. I'm using Party Paws Bamboo from Crafters Companion. It's an easy mount stamp set. I'm also using Spectrum Noir markers, TN 2, 3, 4, and 7, GB 1, 3, and 4, and CG 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. 